Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Dwarf Fortress Trade Ancient Edition. So it's been a few days since I've played. Uh, it's kind of to the point where I almost am thinking about going back and re-watching the end of my last episode just so I remember exactly what I was working on, but I don't think I need to do that just yet. Anyways, uh, as I recall, in our last episode we had just dealt with a fairly substantial invasion of goblins. Our militia squads acquitted themselves fairly well. Uh, I think we lost like four people, which wasn't really too bad given the size of the invasion. I think it was like 20. So, and uh, I was pretty surprised because our militia squads weren't very well equipped, uh, mainly our melee squads. They just didn't have full complements of equipment. So, um,. Did we remove the burrow restriction? That is the question here. Okay. Let's see. Um, alerts. No, we didn't. Okay, so that's why nobody's doing anything. Is because we did not remove the burrow restriction. So now everybody will be getting back to work. Okay, so uh, we've got quite a few corpses here. So we need to... Um, if we click on here, we need to unforbid all of this stuff that can be used. Of course, we want this stuff to be dumped, if at all possible. If they can find it in their hearts to muster up the courage to actually dump this stuff, which, seeing as, as how we still have corpses laying over here of goblins from our last invasion, um... <laughs> Uh, chances are not too good, but it, maybe at least we can get a hold of some of these uh, goodies here. I mean, the the owners of this stuff, they've just mysteriously disappeared. We don't know where they went. So, finders, keepers, losers, uh, they are a weeping. Um, man, there is like a ton of corpses laying about and unfortunately the trees really uh, have a bad way of obscuring all this stuff you know it might actually be easier for us to go into like this uh, this screen right here and just unforbid um, like weapons and armor in mass that doesn't need to be dumped I don't know why it was even marked to dump and that should, uh, I believe, remove that. Okay, we've got some interesting forbidden stuff in here. Armor. 24 iron mail shirts forbidden. Why? Why, game, why? And I'm not really sure. I'm sure there's a reason that some of the F's are yellow and some of the F's are more of a burnt orange or brown color, but unfortunately, I don't know the reason for that. So if any of you guys who are watching have any insight to that, please feel free to chime in. Leave a comment. Just goes to show you the depth of the game, or perhaps the depth of my ignorance, that there are... Still quite a few things in this game that I even do not have a hold on. So that was that. Man, look at all this stuff. Look at all this stuff. Now I'm wondering if some of this stuff in like the clothing here that is forbidden isn't forbidden because of um, dumping. Like 45 pairs of pigtail fiber trousers. You know. 20 troll fur loincloths. Ugh, I don't think we want that. That sounds disgusting. And I know it's it's not nothing that we uh, we crafted. I wouldn't think, but maybe. But, um, I'm just gonna go through here and grab. Probably not. Let well, maybe. I don't know. It's like I just don't want to let any of the uh, see like iron helms here. Why are these being dumped? I don't understand. I don't want them to be dumped at all. I want them to be used. I don't care so much about the leather or the cloth stuff. That's not a big deal. But anything that's made out of metal does not need to be forbidden or dumped. It needs to get used. We have plenty of people uh, that can use it. Footwear? 
Anything in footwear? I'm just scanning down through there, so I don't see anything. Shields and bucklers, yes. We have 12, 12 and 24 of those shields that are not being used. I mean, maybe they were trashed because they weren't good quality. I don't know. Regardless. So hopefully that will take care of the problem. Uh, we did end up having a few people die. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, that, that see, we need to get... Uh, that, that makes me think we also need to have... Holy crap, sound sense. Sound sense coming in like the goddamn Batman. Please turn down. Turn down. Okay, there we go. All right. Um, so if we're going to use this as a meeting hall, we probably need to go ahead and build some food stockpiles down here too. Otherwise, what's going to happen is everybody's going to still be flooding into that room. So we can just set up some food stockpiles down here as well. Dig into here. Just do something. We'll do something kind of longish, maybe like a. I guess this is, would be like a five by ten. No, we don't want to do that. Actually, I don't really care if it kind of overlaps a little bit. I think that looks okay. It's going to be a little uneven because this side is a little bit more open, but I don't think I really care too much. And that's what happens whenever you leave your X designation on. Hooray! Yeah, that'll be just fine. And then we'll use that as food and brew stockpiles. So the people that are hanging out down here don't have to go all the way up uh, just for the express purpose of getting a grabbing a drink or whatnot. Okay, uh, I know we're doing some exploratory mining as well. Did we... Hmm. I'm wondering why all of this... Why is all this here? Why isn't it... Is it because... Uh, do we not have it set up to take armor here? Yeah, we do. I don't know why it's not over there. Things that make you go... What the hell? Things that make you go... Hmm. You, you need to build me something. Okay, what's your mandate? Animal traps? Yes. No, 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 not iron animal traps. So we're going to have to remove that out. We'll set it to one, and then we will remove it with R. That was my bad. How many did he want? Three? It's a pretty standard order for him. Standard order of affairs, indeed. So it is fall. I don't believe we've seen our dwarven caravan yet. We've still got a bunch of clothes that need to get foe. Get out of here with your gloves and your dresses and all this stuff. So we got one dwarf that's in the hospital. So we need to check. I want to check up on him just because it's interesting to me to see what's going on. I can hear my cat meowing in the other room because she is ready for food. But we're not ready to feed her. She's very demanding. She likes to sit in... What is this doing in here? Why is there a dress in here? Somebody's been partying down to a little bit too hard, I think. Um, she will She will sit in like a location that is like the Lagrange point <laughs> between uh, myself and my wife. Basically waiting until she hears something. Because she thinks, oh my god, they're going to feed me, they're going to feed me. Heavy breathing. Alright, where is our staircase? Is this Was this our floor that we were exploring? We didn't have it. There's our staircase. Okay. So we were just kind of digging down just to see what we could see here. We have enough uh, tetrahedrite, really. Man, look at all that tetrahedrite. It just keeps on going, doesn't it? Let's go ahead and designate some more up downstairs. Keep digging, boys. Keep digging. Brrr, I'm just going to hold down the arrow and go to town. That is going to definitely get us to some sort of cavern lair. So it should be interesting to see what we find. Okay. Have they... Okay, so there they go with that. That's just fine and dandy. Okay, that's done getting smoothed now. Is that our last? No, this is our... Okay, so they're working on engraving that. I see, I see. 
I see. Okay, here comes the trade caravan. Alrighty then. Let's go ahead and hit... Oh! Squads. Duh. You have to actually... Once you station them up, you have to actually uh, cancel their orders by hitting uh, O here. And now they'll go back. We do need to fill those spots so that we can get people training as soon as possible. Okay, let's request our trader and move some goods. Select. Finished goods. Mark all. Mark all. Is that all of it? I believe it is. And then unmark all. Indeed. Oh, that's not going to work, is it? Not going to work. Okay, so that looks good. Um, let's just bring that stuff up. Let's sell some mugs. Um, yeah. Oh no, the sword dwarf has been missing for a week. Okay, let's look at the health screen and see what uh, what that guy. What's going on with that guy? Okay, so here we have um, this guy, the hammer dwarf, who is thirsty and hungry, but. Otherwise, fine. So they're all thirsty, basically, because I left or I had them at that station for so long. Um, this person has an I. So you can see right here, this is the legend. And you just match up the letters. So he's got an immobilization request, which means that uh, basically he needs to be put on a traction bench. And, um, huh. This hammer dwarf has, looks like, uh, grasp impaired. Uh, motor nerves, sensory nerves have been damaged. Uh, he's got, uh, what's this, X. Broken tissue and infection. Well, that's not good. Hopefully they can get that treated. This guy's got uh, torn tendon. Um, part Partially broken tissue, tissue pain, plus plus, so he's hurting. Sure. I'm sure they'll get that taken care of. We do have soap, we have thread, they should be able to clean the wound. We have a hospital set up. So, no big deal. No biggie. What's going on in the hospital? So we have one one person in a hospital bed. Riff Ingizton. Okay, they're unloading their goods. So while we're kind of waiting on things to happen here, um, I want to repeat, this This playthrough is probably coming to its conclusion at some time very, very soon, um, simply because the FPS is becoming slightly untenable. Uh, it's dropping down pretty low, uh, which in turn just makes the game drag out and seem even longer than what it really is. So I'll be starting another Let's Play as soon as this one is concluded. Um, I don't know if I'll take a few days away from it, or if I'll just immediately go back into it. I've been wanting to start a new one anyways. So if you uh, have any interest in having a dwarf named after you, feel free to leave uh, your name in the comments, or the name that you wish a dwarf to be named, and I will do so uh, whenever we start the new camp. Excuse me, hiccups, uh, the new campaign. So indeed, we did find our second underground cavern. Uh, looks like we actually, there's our stairway right here, right here, so it looks like we were digging pretty much straight down into it. Uh, if we go to the unit screen, we can kind of see maybe if there's anything nasty lurking around down there. Merchants, horses, troglodytes, oh they send an outpost liaison, interesting. So let, where are the troglodytes at? So in is this the first level or the second level? That's the first level. So the troglodytes are on the first level. Um, what else was there? A giant crab. So that was already there too. So we're not seeing anything. We're not seeing anything um, too threatening on that cavern layer. Let's go back there. I'm gonna find it. There we go. If we just kind of look around here, uh, just to see what we could see with our own eye. Sometimes the unit screen doesn't always uh, come back with everything. What do we have here? 
If we go down, we probably can click on it. Maybe spider webs. Yeah, cave spider silk web. So we know that somewhere down here there are cave spiders. I see some gems. I do see some corpses. Uh, giant cave spider, bat remains, so uh, giant cave spiders as well are down here. Nothing, that wouldn't be too threatening to our, uh, our fortress. Yeah. But we are still going to probably want to seal this back up. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to basically come back up here and we'll go say, hmm, man, we, we barely even uh, really hit it, to be honest. Really, we barely even hit it. It's a pretty small cavern lair in relation to where we are. Uh, we'll come back up here and we will mine basically away a little bit. Kind of what we did on the other cavern lair. And then we're going to go down from here. I guess what I'm trying to do here is get to... I want to get down to the magma layer. I want to go to the circus, guys. And we need to undesignate all of... Whoop. Yeah, we need to undesignate all of this. So what we'll do is we'll just turn on X for remove designation. Cover it up. And then just go back up. So we certainly don't want them to be digging any further into that. And we'll just come back through and we'll floor this in. We'll just build a floor there. And what that should keep everything inside the cavern layer. Which actually... It looks, and eh, we might not even have to do that since we canceled those designations. I don't even think we spilled out into the cavern. Yeah, I don't think we did. I don't think we actually got down into it. Maybe. Yeah, I don't think so. I think they, they, they called it to our attention before they actually dug down that far, which is good. Okay, so we won't even really have to floor it. Alright, so get to it, folks get to it all right I wonder are we ready to trade are you ready indeed you are you have 161,000 dwarf hearts. now that's what I'm talking about and we have 88,000 so we will certainly be able to get a fine quantity of things from our brethren what should we get I'm just gonna scroll down through here I'd really love it if they had some fuel but they're probably not going to We'll probably just end up buying a lot of food. Maybe if they have any exotic animals, we'll buy them for our little animal display area on the second meeting hall. Uh, rooster? No, not exotic enough. Uh, no, doesn't look like they really brought anything that interesting. Indeed, they didn't. Okay, so let's just load up on our normal, which is food and drink. Rum. Kangaroo's milk, huh? I can't imagine that milking a marsupial would be uh, an easy task. I'm no, I'm no uh, animal expert or anything, but aren't there, uh, aren't there? Uh, like nipples, aren't they inside of their pouch? So how would you even milk a marsupial? Would you like put the put the milk container in the pouch under the under the teat and like squeeze it? I mean, I, I don't know. I don't I don't know the physics of uh, how that would work, and I don't know that I really care. Okay, so we don't need any weapons or armor. Really, to be quite honest, we don't really need a whole lot of anything, but we're just trading to trade. Because I like trading. It's fun. Look at all this stuff they brought. 
They did bring a lot of stuff. So we could buy some dye if we wanted. Sure, why not? Why not, huh? Dimple cups. Sugar rock nuts. Plump helmet spawn. Tail seeds, wheat flour, dimple cup spawn. Seeds, plump helmets. Tip to do. What else? Surely that's not all you guys brought. Pigtail seeds. Buy some more dimple dye. Which we could make this ourselves if we wanted to, and we might. We still might. Some rock nuts. Wheat flour. Okay. Man, they brought up. They did actually bring quite a bit of stuff here. Rock nuts, dimple dye, rock nuts, lots of rock nuts. They love some rock nuts. Sweet pod seeds, sweet flour, cave wheat seeds. All right, so we'll take all of their cloth and leather. Hopefully, they brought a bevy of it. In fact, it looks like they didn't. <laughs> there are only four different bins with cloth and leather. What are you guys doing? Come on, guys. We don't need any anvils. Actually, maybe we do. Let's grab three. And it's our favorite time where we get to spam the down arrow and the enter key on the number pad. We've got way too much food. You know, if I intended on taking the game longer, we could always sell some prepared meals as well. But, man, we've got so many mugs anyways, what does it matter? I mean, we're just, like, flush with money. Look at all those plump helmets. Jesus, and we got to do this for the cheese too. Okay, it's almost over. Whew. Hands getting tired. Gonna have like a carpal tunnel in my right hand by the time this is all done. I don't think we need any thread. I think we're okay on thread. I think we're okay on thread. And there's the cheese. Any kangaroo cheese? Indeed they do. They have kangaroo cheese. Awesome. So the mystery of kangaroo milking continues. Do they have any other strange cheeses? Not really. Everything else makes sense. Just the kangaroo cheese, kangaroo milk, just doesn't make a whole lot of sense. To me. Maybe it makes more sense to you guys. I don't know a lot about the kangaroos. So we'll trade them uh, a good amount of profit. We'll probably send them away with about 10,000 dwarf bucks worth of profit. Just like we did with the humans. We don't want uh, anybody to think that we are favoring anybody. Even though we really are. We, we do favor our own kind over those silly, silly humans. That should be fine trade so he's ecstatic as well he should be oh we're done okay so don't need a trader let's move everything so we didn't even take our gems out so that's everything all right get out of here traders get out of here all right let's fill back up those military slots so i'm going to switch over to a scene number two We'll read our dwarves and let's look at our military status. So I believe our archery squad needs two people. Well, we may have lost more than we thought we did because there was, there's only 22. So maybe, maybe those missing ones. Let's see. Colorless ores. So this person, of course, are, uh, let's just click on this person so we can see all of them. 
No? Huh. Armored Whiskers has nine. Color Source has nine. And Fortifications of Urging has seven. So the Fortifications of Urging, that is, I believe... Isn't that our... Archery Squad? Isn't it? This person's in the Armored Whiskers. You go to Military Skill. Mmm... Actually, Armored Whiskers is our range squad. Yep. You can tell because of uh, the Mark's Dwarf ability. I did have a request to uh, check and see, like, uh, on kills for the people in the squads, just to see if there was any anything interesting. So, uh, it looks like this guy has a lot of kills. Wow, seven goblins, one troll. So, this guy was... Uh, Quite the uh, the efficient dispatcher of that whole invasion. He is a swordsman, also a high master beekeeper. You don't mess with the beekeeper, okay? He was shocked after being attacked. He witnessed sixteen deaths. He felt delight after eating a truly decadent fish and bliss after sleeping in a fantastic bedroom. What about Rith? Two notable kills. Mivid didn't close the goblin. And Toad Ruthless watched the goblin. So uh, this person has actually had a notable kill in both combats. And also killed uh, another troll and a goblin. Cool. Uh, this person has 11 kills. And they're one of the uh, captains. And that's one of our hunters. And that's another hunter. So basically, uh, it looks like most of the work is being done by this guy and this guy. So he is an adept sword dwarf. And this one is an expert mace dwarf. So, yeah. They are carrying the burden. What is it? One kill, a kawadi. <laughs> okay. And then one goblin here. Uh, this person got a notable kill on uh, Thidus in trance author the goblin, but that wasn't in this invasion. This person killed the giant raven. Congratulations. Two turkeys and an echidna. Two goblins. Okay. What does this person got a kill from? One turkey. Good job. You killed that turkey. Alright, so we need to fill up our uh, our slots a little bit here. So I guess let's go back to labor's full and uh, profession. Should we look at profession maybe? We have a lot of engravers. They could potentially be switched over very easily. We have four gem cutters. Uh, this guy right here would make a really good recruit. Stenthad Rakastus. Because uh, even though he's uh, his highest is gem cutter, but it's like very very small he's a novice so he, that basically means he doesn't really have much talent what about his uh, military ability uh, has a little bit of discipline okay he can swim sure not very strong it's pretty tough but not very agile okay wait that's the wrong person damn it uh, little endurance pretty average on everything else uh, let's put you in the uh, archery squad. The armored whiskers. Okay. What else do we have here that we can? We could take a hunter, put them somewhere, but they would have made I think the most sense in the archery squad. We'll just leave them be for now, unless we absolutely just have to have them. Uh, ten miners. I like having lots of miners. Five planners. I do also like having lots of planners. But we could probably spare one. This guy right here looks like he's kind of just a chode. Stukos. Yeah, he's pretty bad at everything. Stukos Kaganomer. Okay, we'll just uh, we'll just assign you and fill up the colorless ores. Congratulations! You're now in my army. We don't need two soap makers. So this little lady here. Esm, you go into the fortifications of urging. Three stone crafters. I'm fine with that actually. 
Trappers, traders, weaponsmiths, wood burners, wood crafters. Okay. Hmm. Alright, let's put... I'm thinking, let's put... We'd probably just put two of these engravers on it. Dumont Ablegut. He can eat anything he sets his mind to. And Sazir... And now we're full. So we commit our changes. That's important to remember to do. There's been many times I've tinkered around in here only to not commit my changes. And then I have to come back through and I have to redo everything, which is extremely annoying. All right, we'll switch back now. Back to scene one. So that should take care of our military problem. Okay. Oh, so we do have a liaison for the mountain homes. This is interesting. Interesting. Okay, Merit deserves a reward, and I come empowered to establish this colony as an official land of our realm. Do you have any dwarves to recommend for elevation? Uh, this is really rather strange, because um, I already have the king here. So, uh, who am I recommending this to? Am I recommending this to myself? Sure. Um, a barony, huh? Did we, did, did we lose the king? Like, do we not have the kingship anymore? Uh, that's very strange. That's very strange indeed. We'll have to take a look at that. Uh, we'll just recommend, uh, let's just recommend the manager. Sure, why not? A few years ago, Stinthad Letterwas became king of the circumstantial stack stake, placing niche granite rooms. Yeah, that's that's one of our guys, I think. So we can request things, which is cool. Basically, uh, we tell them, "Hey, uh, high priority on this. They'll bring it in for us next time, but they will charge us a little bit more." Uh, specifically, this is really good for trying to get a little bit uh, of things that you don't have access to if they have access to it. So they may not even have access to it. So you normally, uh, blocks, don't mess with stone blocks because even though it seems like it's a good deal, like, oh yeah, I'm gonna pick up some, I'm gonna I'm gonna pick up some coal, uh, you know, it's like some coke blocks, but uh, no, you don't wanna do it. It's a trap, it's a trap. All right, so let's see. I really think the only thing that we're going to uh, be requesting here See stone. What do they have? Um, I'm not seeing. They don't have any. Uh, I don't see. I think anything that can be anything that you can use for fuel. Like lignite can be used for fuel. Bituminous coal and lignite are the two stone types that you can use for fuel. Uh, bituminous coal is better because you get more coke out of the reaction. But lignite... Oh, there's lignite right there. Booyah. Okay, so we can get lignite. Lignite is good, but it's not as good as bituminous coal. And we can also request... Under miscellaneous, we can request coke... Uh, I don't think we need to request charcoal since we have so many trees anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And I think that's probably going to be it. I don't really feel like we need any metal bars. I mean, we could request iron uh, to make some iron stuff, so okay, sure, why not? And some steel. Just in case we wanted to do something really interesting. But I think that's fine. Uh, okay. And then uh, when you look over these documents here, basically what this is showing you is uh, what their price is going to be. So you can see uh, the price is going to be 183% of normal because we set it to high priority. But when you set it to high priority, there's a greater chance that they'll actually bring it. And now they're going to show us um, what they'll pay us for some certain things. So these are the things that they're requesting. 
Um, they're requesting crossbows, spears, legwear, amulets, water skins, large gems, crutches, blocks, bracelets, rock figurines, powder, and rings. So out of that, the only thing that we really uh, are producing are large gems, and they will they will pay 50% uh, above average for that. So it's re it's a really good day whenever they say goblets, and you're like, oh yeah. Okay, so I'm just curious. Yeah, there's the king right there. Is there another civilization? No. So, King, yeah, that's Stenthad. That's the guy that lives here. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know. I don't know. We will see. Did we get this dug out? Yes, we did. So let's go ahead and set up uh, some stockpiles, some food stockpiles down here. So we'll make one for food and one for drink. And now we'll set them up. So we'll make this one for drink. And we'll make this one for food. But we also want to make sure, no seeds, please. Uh, no fat, no paste, no pressed material, no plant extra extracts, no animal extracts, and no miscellaneous liquids. Please and thank you, sir. Okay, let's go down and check out our mining. See if we have found anything interesting. Other than that cavern layer that we saw. Okay, so they have indeed kept going, and they're still going. Very good. So they're going to be at it for a while. We uh, we designated a pretty large swath of things uh, to be dealt with down there. So everybody is pretty busy. It's also dragging down our FPS. What we might want to do to make sure that things end up in those um, areas down there, we may actually want to delete these stockpiles. Because otherwise, uh, I don't know that anything is going to end up down there because everybody is going to be bringing it to here. So let's remove these stockpiles. Maybe not all of this one, but like that much. Oh, oh, the moss, the moss. Oh my God. Okay, so he ended the mandate. Very good. Excellent. Now hopefully they bring stuff down here now. That's okay. Very good. They are good. 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 Okay. Uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and put a cut in here, and in our next episode, we're gonna keep digging down until we get to the circus. We're going to the circus. Yay! And uh, just as a reminder, again, if uh, if you have a name in mind that you would like me to name a dwarf, any name in at at all, as long as it's not uh, offensive. Like extremely offensive, a little bit offensive is probably fine, but extremely offensive I'm going to give a big pass to. Just keep it tasteful. Um, I just leave a comment under this video and I will make sure that that name is used for my next, uh, next Dwarf Fortress playthrough. So, Thank you for joining me and I will see you next time. Until then, game on.